Well, businesses here in the Triad are doing everything they can to help those impacted by Hurricane Helene. WXI 12's Kara Peters joins us live tonight with a closer look at those efforts. And Kara, the need to help our neighbors continues to grow each day. Well, Kenny, we have heard from so many businesses and organizations across the triad wanting to help, whether that be through collaborating with other local groups or sending up the supplies to Western North Carolina themselves. Still, the overall intention is clear. They do not plan on stopping these donation efforts anytime soon. This is going to be a journey. This isn't a sprint by any means. We've got to give it all we got. Um, and uh, they've got our commitment. It's a commitment that community members and businesses are making across the state of North Carolina, all in hopes to help those in Western North Carolina whose lives are forever changed. Robert Satter Sr. with Volvo Cars Winston-Salem says they began delivering supplies to Western North Carolina themselves immediately. Satter says he's seen the damage for himself, a sight that's hard to swallow. It's sheer devastation. There's no question about it. Um, I don't, the things that I witnessed, the things that I experienced, I, I don't want that. I don't wish that on anybody. And in Pop Town, Old Town Gymnastics Academy is taking its partnership with Toys for Tots to another level. The owners are working with the program to gather supplies and clothing using a family member's 53 foot long truck to donate to victims of Helene. Dawn Nelson, known by her gymnasts as Coach Tootie, says even her daughter donated her stuffed animals to help the children in Western North Carolina. A trait Coach Tootie and her team tries to instill in all of their gymnasts. Business owners here in a triad that have the means to coordinate donations say the least they can do is help those whose lives are forever changed. I am grateful that my daughter has food at shelter. I have no idea where these people are going to go, where their homes are going to be. They lost everything, their homes, their schools, their work, everything. I'm just thankful to be a part of it. I'm humbled. I'm blessed. Um, I'm really glad to be able to help. And the businesses that you just heard from are still accepting donations and they say no donation is too small if you are hoping to give. We are live tonight in Winston-Salem. I'm Kara Peters for WXII 12 News. Kara,